in this lecture we'll study initial and final value theorems the initial and final value theorems are used to determine the behavior of f of t at t equal to 0 and t equal to infinity from f of s first we'll consider the initial value theorem the initial value theorem its statement is this theorem states that if the time function f of t and its derivative f dash of t that is nothing but d f of t by dt are Laplace transformable then limit t tends to 0 f of t is equal to limit s tends to z infinity s f of s so here LHS is in time domain and RHS is in frequency domain. Let us prove this. Proof. We know that Laplace transform of any time domain function f of t is represented as f of s and it is represented by the equation t equal to 0 to infinity f of t e power minus st into dt. We will call it as equation number 1. Also we know that Laplace transform dash of t f dash of t is nothing but d f of t by dt both are same is equal to s f of s minus f of 0 where f of 0 is initial value of f of t at t equal to 0. So now from the definition of Laplace transform the equation 2 can be represented as Laplace transform of any function f of t is integration t equal to 0 to infinity. Likewise, I can express equation number 2 as Laplace transform of d f of t by dt is nothing but integration 0 to infinity. The function is f of t. So, here the function is d f of t by dt that is nothing but f dash of t e power minus st dt is equal to s f of s minus f of 0. Now apply limit s tends to infinity on both side of equation 3 we get limit s tends to infinity integration t equal to 0 to infinity f dash of t e power minus st into dt is equal to limit s tends to infinity s f of s minus f of 0 here we can see that as s tends to infinity that is e power minus infinity e power minus infinity will be equal to 0. So therefore here the LHS term becomes 0 if s tends to infinity that is 0 is equal to on RHS side I can represent it as limit s tends to infinity s f of s minus f of 0 or I can represent it as limit s tends to infinity s f of s is equal to f of 0 or I can represent it as limit s tends to infinity s f of s is equal to I will represent f of 0 as limit t tends to 0 f of that is same as f of 
zero. So therefore, limit t tends to zero f of t is equal to limit s tends to infinity s f of s. Thus, initial value theorem is proved. Now consider the final value theorem. This theorem states that the time function f of t and its derivative f dash of t are Laplace transformable then limit t tends to infinity f of t is equal to limit s tends to 0 s f of s which is in frequency domain. Let us prove this. We know that Laplace transform of d by dt f of t that is first derivative of f of t that is f dash of t is equal to s f of s minus f of 0. Now taking limit s tends to infinity on both sides of equation, we will call it as equation number 1. So I can write equation 1 as limit s tends to 0 Laplace transform of d by dt f of t is equal to limit s tends to 0 s f of s minus f of 0. Now consider LHS that is limit s tends to 0 Laplace transform of d by dt f of t can be represented integration t equal to 0 to infinity d by dt f of t into e power minus st into dt. So now as the s tends to 0 in this equation we have e power minus st that is e power 0 minus 0 will be equal to 1 therefore I can represent this equation as integration 0 to infinity d by dt f of t e power minus 0 is 1 that is dt. So now here we can observe that integration and differentiation will get cancelled. Therefore I can represent this equation as f of t will apply the limit 0 to infinity that is I can write f of infinity minus f of 0 or I can represent it as limit t tends to infinity f of t minus f of 0 which gives the same meaning that is f of infinity. So therefore limit t tends to infinity f of t minus f of 0 on, so on RHS we have limit s tends to 0 s f of s minus f of 0. So therefore we can write limit t tends to infinity f of t is equal to f of 0 and f of 0 will get cancelled. Limit s tends to 0 s f of s. This is final value theorem which is proved. Thank you for watching.